Hello and welcome to the fifth edition of our Investment Insights series, Magellan Minutes. My name is Jennifer Herbert, Head of Listed Funds at Magellan, and today I'm joined by Ryan Joyce, Head of Media, Technology and Communications. Today we'll be discussing the recent underperformance of the tech sector as a whole, the opportunities ahead that are getting us excited, and why Intuit is a recent addition to the Global Fund. Thanks for joining us today, Ryan. It's a pleasure to be here. In an already challenging market, the tech sector is under immense pressure and it's been underperforming the broader market. What do you attribute that to? It's really been a perfect storm for uh, tech sector valuations, both in an absolute and a relative sense. And there's a few things contributing to that. Uh, the first is this ongoing normalization post COVID. Um, that obviously drove a lot of growth in, in tech sector earnings and cash flows. Um, they were being extrapolated out and, and we're seeing that come through in waves as it continues to normalize both activity going back to where it was, but also saturation of markets earlier than people expected. And so that's putting downward pressure on, on multiples and, and growth going forward. You know, the zooms of the world are the obvious examples of this, but it's also a lot more nuanced with a lot of other companies. Another important impact is, is the interest rates and that will obviously impact all asset values, but but tech valuations are often very long duration. People are expecting them to earn cash further out into the future because they're investing heavily today and they're, and they're growing those cash flows over time. So there's a disproportionate impact on the valuation of those businesses. Related to that is, is a third impact, which I'd say is a normalization in, in speculative behavior in markets um, as, as people have become more capital aware and people are shifting their focus from revenue and revenue growth and addressable markets back to earnings and, and cash flows. Um, and a lot of that speculative behavior is really concentrated in the tech sector. Um, if we think about a business like Spotify, for example, its share price tripled in a very short period of time as people just started to price in success in operating mar margins, success in podcasts, success in getting labels to advertise on their platform and that all resulted in that run up. And as people have balanced the probabilities of success in that, we've seen that come right back to where it started, for example. Now, from Magellan's perspective, our focus on, on profitable, highly cash generative businesses with proven business models um, protects us from some of that. We're obviously not immune, um, but we are focused on those more resilient businesses. So given all of that, is it time for us to start getting excited yet? In my view, tech sector valuations are, are reasonable, but not dirt cheap. Uh, but at the same time, I think there are a couple reasons to get excited. Um, the first is that prospective equity returns, including the tech sector, I think are more attractive than they've been uh, for some time. Um, given the outlook for rates is much more balanced. We're in this scenario where they were very low and you could argue they only had one way to go. We'd argue they're more balanced at the moment. The second part relates to what I was just talking about with respect to Spotify, where you are now going to get rewarded for being right about how things evolve. Um, not so long ago, people were assuming everything was successful. Now, if you make the right calls and, and you do the right research, we think you'll be rewarded for that. And so that's exciting. Intuit is a recent addition to the Global Fund. Perhaps you could tell us a bit about the company and is it one of those um, opportunities that you've been talking about? Certainly, and, and it is one of those opportunities. So, so what Intuit is, it's got two core businesses. Uh, the first, it's the dominant provider of financial management software to SMBs in the US via a product called QuickBooks, um, which you may have seen in Australia as well. It's also the dominant provider of US um, software for DIY tax filing um, for our product called TurboTax. And, and when I say dominant, these are category defining uh, brands and products with over 50% market share. And they can use the scale and, and the data and the back and forth from understanding how their customers interact with those products over time to invest heavily in marketing and innovation to ensure they remain best in class products. Now, Intuit is certainly recognized as, as a business that is high quality, but we also think there's a few factors that are underappreciated by the market that do make it that attractive opportunity I spoke about. The first is, is the runway for growth in that SMB um, financial management business. So it might be a little bit surprising or counterintuitive, but a lot of those processes are still done very manually in the US in terms of bookkeeping, uh, in terms of executing on payroll, in terms of writing checks. Um, and so we think there's a very long runway for growth as they continue to digitalize over time. 
The second important factor is they've been really good at extending that platform over time and innovating to create new products. And we think there's also a long runway for there. Some examples of that in recent times are TurboTax Live, which is an assisted offering, uh, which complements the existing TurboTax offering. And since rolling that out in 2018, they've been able to grow that into a $1 billion business in just those five years. Another one is digital payments. I mentioned checks before, and a lot of the volume of uh, payments that the SMBs on their platform do still take place via check, which requires a lot of manual work. They're making that easier by integrating digital payments into people's workflows. And those digital payments in the last two years have doubled, um, but penetration is still very low and we think there's a long way to go. Another example is its QuickBooks Advanced product, which is targeted at more mid-market customers. And it's coming at, in at a quite disruptive price point uh, with a long runway for growth there as well. And the third point, and I've kind of touched on it there a little bit, is relative to a lot of other um, software names that might be a bit more single product, there's diverse growth drivers for Intuit. I've just mentioned three there, but there are several others as well that I could point to. They're also highly profitable. So we spoke earlier about some of these businesses investing heavily um, and, and having longer dated cash flows. Intuit is highly profitable today. It's got those diverse growth drivers, and we think that makes for a very resilient business that we also think is attractive. Ryan, thank you for your insights today. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Magellan distribution team and feel free to share this update with clients and colleagues as you see fit. Take care and see you soon. <laughs>